Okay. Hi, my name is Lisa Lund. I'm the Director of Educational Technology and Library Services, and I'm going to walk you through the settings um, on your Seesaw classroom. Up in the right-hand corner here, you'll notice the wrench. If you click on that, you'll come to your class settings um, that you can update and change at any time. Your class name is set through our IC rostering and your grade level. Here's where you can manage co-teachers and add a co-teacher to your class. So you just click on the arrow and I invite the teacher and they become a co-teacher in my classroom. So if you have, um, for instance, an ELA partner that you would like into your classroom or you're inviting maybe your specialist teacher in to help support, you can do it through the manage teacher section. You can go to the class theme um, and update the color um, of your class. I think mine is currently a purple color, it looks like. Um, and then I also can upload an image if you had a picture of your class or yourself that you wanted there, or you can use the icons that are available. Um, and then we have the way the students are signing in, so you won't have to manage your students. They should be uploaded through IC, but if for some reason there was a problem, you can click here um, to look at your student rosters. Here's where it says students can like and comment, and if you click on this, this enables students to be able to like and comment on each other's work in order to create some collaboration within your classroom. You can enable students to make comments and here you can um, require approval. So if this is turned on, anything green is turned on, then as a teacher, I have to approve their comments. If you just want the kids to comment without your approval, you can just turn that off. Let's go back to the settings. You just keep the arrow, takes you right back. Um, new items require approval. So the reason that you would turn this on is that um, at the bottom, you can see that I have some posts that need to be reviewed and approved. And that way, then, if there's something that I don't want parents to see for some reason, like maybe the kids didn't do their best work and I would like for them to have a second opportunity, that's why I would turn on items need approval. Otherwise, they just go right into the student um, street work stream like this. Um, and so this is a way for me to look over the work before it's posted. Um, enable editing, you definitely need that turned on so that your students are able to take an assignment and edit it because you might want them to make a copy of it. And you also might want students to redo some work. So this gives them an opportunity for you to send it back. And then I recommend that you enable sample student. You'll notice right here in mine and over here in the right, you see a sample student. This gives me the opportunity to be able to see what students see through my sample student. If I'm wondering what students, what the assignment looks like, if they're asking me a question, I could go look at it and go, oh shoot, I forgot to do this, or I can preview the work before I post it. <clears throat> the next part is about families. So this is where you enable family access. This is turned off when you get started. Um, I've obviously toggled on and off all of mine. Um, and then inviting families. I imagine this will be done at your school level, but you as a teacher can invite your families um, and you can send a text directly to them or you can just email them with directions and they just have access to their own student accounts. Um, and then I can manage my family so I can see a list here of all my families. And then I can see if my families um, have joined or not. Um, and maybe they have a new email address I need to update. Um, so I can do it from there. And under here is your families, you'll have to approve them. So once they've joined your classroom, you just go in and approve them. And then families have the same opportunity to like and comment their students work. So if I enable family sharing here, that means that my student, my parents can see the students work. Um, I can enable families to be able to click the little like button on their student work to give them encouragement. I can also allow the comment feature here, enable families to make comments and they might say, great job that, you know, whatever they can comment. You can also turn on the approval for your family. So if you want to see their comments, um, 
and approve them, you can turn that on. If you turn it off, then whatever a family says to a student is automatically, um, it's automatically enabled without you having to make an approval for it. So it doesn't matter whichever way you decide. So that's kind of the section around um, the family access. And then the class blog, I'll go into this um, later on in another section. But this is where you turn on and enable a blog. You can allow students to post to it. And then I can change the appearance. Um, and I can connect my blog um, maybe to a certain classroom. But again, I'll do some good directions on that as well in another video. There's also where we set up the folder section. And again, we'll have a section just on folders. Um, and then manage skills is a, a level um, about how I integrate in standards into the lessons. And again, I'll go into this a little bit deeper. I always just turn off save to camera roll. Um, and it's really not going to affect a Chromebook. And if you're using an iPad, that way then not all the pictures get saved that you have to delete. And then I just leave the video quality alone. Um, and so that's the class settings and manage teacher is all in the same area. So anytime that you're looking to make changes to the way your class is set up from a settings perspective, you always just click on the wrench in the right hand corner of your class. And if you have more than one class, you'll need to change those permissions for each class um, because you might have different classes that you run a little differently um, and you may want parents to opt in or not opt in in a certain class or something. So for every class, the wrench controls just that class. Thanks for listening. And if you have questions, please reach out to your regional or digital coach.